we have now Cozumel, which is our orange collar male. He's a silver sable. He's going to look like mama. Come on, let's go, buddy. And he's pretty um, confident usually, so we'll see how he does on his walk. Um, I had to stop yesterday because the rain came again, and then it just, everything fell apart. <laughs> so that's my life. And um, today it's really sunny so far, and I heard we might get a little more rain, so we'll just see. Good job, Cozumel. Good job, buddy. Now, Coz, um, whenever I call him inside the the um, kennel, he knows his name, and he comes out from the crowd and comes to me. So um, there's only a few of them that do that, and they don't typically do that at this age, but sometimes they do. So I would say he's extremely um, driven, like people driven, and he doesn't seem to be worried about this at all. He's totally having a fun time. Come on. And we're going around in circles, but that's okay. Right, Cos? <laughs> Keep going. Good boy. What you doing? Can you sit? Oh, what a good boy. Good job. Let's go. Come on. Good job. He is super smart. Um, he's got more energy than the rest of them. And he's definitely become the alpha in our pack. Um, he's the bully. <laughs> he bullies all the rest of them into submission. But he wants to play with them. And he's really rough with them. So just so you know, he's, he's alpha. And that's how they are. Um, he's confident. He seems to always be a pretty happy little boy. Um, he, uh, he takes everything pretty much in stride. So he doesn't have as much nervousness as most poodles do at this age. He's definitely more confident. <laughs> he seems super happy to be out here. What a good boy. What a good boy. Okay, let's go. Good job. He hasn't pulled once yet. So, how do you hear that noise? There's noise going on over there. What is it? What is that noise? Sorry, I'm not a very good photographer, am I? <laughs> It's hard to do this. You try it, people. You try it. <laughs> well, I think they have a fan on that horse over there. That's the noise that I'm getting. Okay. He's, he's like, what is that noise? Let's not go in the mud, okay? Come on. Come on, buddy. Good job. Good job. Look at you go. Uh-oh. We're stuck. Here, I'll get it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's go. What do you smell? I think one of the other dogs stopped right there and smelled. So I don't know what the smell is, but there's something. They have such um, fine senses. The sense of smell is like supposedly like a hundred times ours. Or I'm sure I'm getting that wrong, but it's really, really strong compared to ours. Good boy. He's so happy. Are you super happy? Yes, you're a good boy. I think that even though he's got a lot of energy, he does have a nice off switch and he'll be obedient. Um, he doesn't seem to reject anything that I've asked him to do. So um, just because they have a lot of energy doesn't mean that they're going to be disobedient um, or nervous or anything like that. It really depends on the dog. But with him, he just doesn't even seem, we're really far away from home. And he doesn't seem to be at all worried. <laughs> He's looking at me though. Can you sit? Can you sit please? Sit. Can you sit? Cozumel. I'm going to scoot up next to him. Sit. 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 Yes, good boy. Good job. Okay, let's go. Come on. Good boy. That's a good boy. He's super happy. <laughs> it's pretty warm out here, so they don't really like it in the heat that much. Okay, let's go back. You ready to go back? We're getting close to the road, so I'm gonna take him back. Oh, what a good boy. What a good, good Cozumel who's been digging in the dirt. All of these puppies have been really enjoying the rain, like, cause the, the it makes little mud areas that they dig in. They really like that. I've tried to catch them and tell them not to do that. 
So, um, yeah, that's something you have to start leave it training with really early because once they get into a habit of doing something you don't want you don't want that so um you start nipping it in the bud like before it happens or before they get a habit of it where it's harder to break so this is why we do this kind of training this early with the puppies because they're so moldable and if they're not doing something or if they're doing something you don't want them to do you can easily pick them up and redirect them. Whereas if you do that when they get older, they can really run fast and run away from you. Um, at this age, you can catch them really quick and grab them. But they, poodles typically, at least I've found in my poodles, they don't typically run away from you. No, 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 no. They do get in the mud though. That's why they call them poodle. That's what puddle means. Okay, come on. Okay, can you sit, please? Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the collar back on. I probably am gonna switch. Sorry, I gotta set my phone down. I'm probably gonna switch to the non-breakaway collars just so that while I'm recording, I don't have to um, do that to you. Sorry. Okay, here you go. Let's go. The reason that I do these kind of videos, though, is for people who are trying to train their puppies and all they see on puppy training videos is the puppies that are doing what they're supposed to be doing. It doesn't really help you to learn how to correct something when they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing unless you record that. <laughs> so for me, I just really want to be very transparent in the way that you see that trainers have the same issues as any owner does and they just are very persistent with and consistent with their training. So all it is is just correcting and praising, correcting and praising, and it's pretty much just that over and over and over, but you can at least see oh, the dog's not doing what I want it to do. What am I gonna do now? So um, that's why I do these kind of videos. So you, I, I'm not gonna cut these because you need to see this. You need to see when they're not doing, and especially for my puppy buyers, they need to see how the dog is reacting to my commands and to its socialization and all that. They can see and make a really educated decision on their dog, which dog they want, which dog is gonna be good for their family. <laughs> and I, I hope that it helps you fall in love with your puppy rather than let's go good boy good job rather than fall in love with the color of a dog you know what i mean you're, you're falling in love with the puppy's personality can you sit yes good boy good job <laughs> he's so smart like cozumel he's got a great personality and if you didn't necessarily like the silver sable which is, is really actually a lot of people are asking for silver sable these days because um, I think they haven't really seen it before they don't really know what produces silver sable um, and sable is just basically kind of like a mixture of all different whoops there he goes got all different genetics come 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 good boy can you sit can you sit sit please sit yes good boy stay we're gonna stay there and put your collar back on again. Okay, hold on. Put this phone down. Oh, here. Okay, got it. All right, so we're almost back to the house. And so he's done a little bit of, you know, pulling out of his leash, but not much. And, you know, a lot of it's just that they feel the pressure and they go, no, 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 no. That's, it's a natural instinct to pull away from that until they know that it's okay. It's not going to hurt them. So that's what part of this is about. Yes, what a good boy. So there's Cozumel, our orange collar boy, on his first walk. 